There are a number of different timesheet processing modes. We recommend the spreadsheet style batch mode because it's a quick and efficient way of processing a group of employees together. This is the batch time and pay screen. Time and pay information for employees is organized into columns. Make changes to payments and deductions for this pay period in these columns where necessary. If you want to reverse your changes and restore the default timesheet values, simply click the Reset to Standard Amounts button. You can control which payments and deductions are included by clicking this button. Simply make the necessary selections and click OK. Some information, including holiday weeks and tax credits, is not available for edit in batch mode. To make changes to this information, click Detailed Timesheet to access the employee's full timesheet screen. You can preview the employee's payslip by clicking Payslip. Returning to batch mode, select an employee to see a summary of this period's pay on the right. Check here for any alert or error messages relating to the employee. If you don't want to pay the selected employee in the current pay period, select Do not pay this period. When you're happy that all the necessary time and pay information is ready, click Save Valid Timesheets. You've processed timesheets for a batch of employees.